As you can see, it's kind of a pretty day today. It's nice and sunny and not hardly a cloud in the sky. Beautiful blue water out on the ocean. Everything looks nice today. I haven't talked to you in a while. I thought I would do a little lecture. I haven't done a lecture in some time, but I wanted to kind of just give you an update on what's going on here in Monta and around Ecuador. There's really not a whole lot to report, but anyway, I'll get started on it right after this. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Things have really settled down, folks. It's the I, I know that last month there were over 140 something murders here in Monta, all gang related, all drug cartel gang related. You know, no uh, innocent uh, expats, you know, shot and or killed. It's just been, I, and I'm sure that a lot of that has to do with the fact that you know the military has been here, the police are. There's been a heavy presence of police. Oh, wow, there goes the Ecuadorian Air Force. You see that? Them, that them button buzz almost got my head. There's like four buzzards out there. Why, why is it when I come out on my porch, buzzards start circling overhead? But anyway, things have really quietened down quite a bit. I don't know if it's just, you know, this whole incident this whole business with this cartel and the new president and bringing up the state of emergency and everything has just created lots of awareness and people i think are getting the message i think it's been a big giant wake-up call and you know maybe things are going to get better but i know that incoming traffic people coming into the country has slowed down significantly a lot, quite a few people have left. I've lost most of my breakfast buddies that where I used to sit and eat breakfast with most mornings and have gone. One of them is my buddy Mike has gone to the States to have some stuff done, take care of some business, and then he's coming back. But then I hear that he's going to get married and run off to Cuenca. You know, I thought, what the hell? So, you know, looks like I'm going to start needing some new friends because... Most of the people that I used to sit and eat breakfast with have all left. They've gone. It's not so much because they just got afraid, but it just things just weren't working out, you know. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you that even though I have my reservations about, you know, my safety and security here and how things are going, my comfort level is not quite where... It was, you know, this time last year, but I'm starting to feel better. I'm, I'm starting to feel better about being here. I'm starting to feel uh, better about my safety, my girlfriend's safety. You know, we all we we all know what to do. We stay out of the bad neighborhoods, but don't go out run around town partying at night. You know. Uh, and you know, we you, we listen to common sense. We listen to common sense, and that's why we're we're okay. Today is July Fourth. Today is going to be a big uh, party, a July Fourth party at one of the big restaurants here. There's been rumors that there's going to be a parl uh, because of the protesting. The gas prices have gone up. The gas prices are still less than three dollars a gallon, but you know they've gone up, and it's significant for the taxi drivers and the locals who. They're on, on a real budget, you know, and so you, in a way I can't blame them for to protesting gas prices going up. What what else are we going to do about it? You know, we it's better than, for us, for us expats, it's better than the United States. Gas prices. Uh, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about the way things are going. In my own personal life, I still have reservations about how long I'm going to stay here. And I've been saying that for three years. So those of you writing 
and telling me, you know, Don, come to Panama, Don, come to Peru, Don, go to Argentina. You know, thanks, folks, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to make the right decision for me. And But right now, I'm going to stick around. I'm going to stick around and see what happens. For the lecture part of this video, I had yet again got another report about a single expat guy coming here for reasons that are a lot different than most of us uh, that come here. I was told the other day that a local expat, a guy, uh, joined this other couple, friends of mine, for breakfast. And this other person came in, and another buddy of his came in. And where we sit uh, in the mall, and where I usually sit and have breakfast, is where my friends were sitting. And there is a lot of traffic that comes in and out the mall and we see them directly from where we're sitting and it's a lot of the people that are going to the fitness center next door so needless to say there's a lot of pretty girls and good-looking guys you know coming and going and they're all dressed in their little little outfits you know and and this guy was making lewd comments to his buddy Hey, like, look at that. Oh, check that out. Look at the ass on that. That was one quote that I heard right in front of my friend and his wife. And, and I thought that's just totally inappropriate. This seems to be a growing problem here. It's single expat guys coming here for sex tourism, uh, coming here looking for a, a relationship young young girl and that's all that's fine i mean if guys if that's what you want to do that's your business but for crying out loud as an expat you know keep it under control and especially if you're sitting in a public place with another expat couple that kind of stuff is just not acceptable okay it's and you're making this all look bad so there's, I know that there's a lot of men that come here looking for a young lady to help take care of them and provide them with support. And of course they get a lot in return because the Ecuadorian, the young women that are, that are basically in the market for that kind of relationship are just looking for security. And they want, you know, they want a roof over their head. You can't blame them for that. And they take really good care of you. If you, if you meet one, and you strike up a relationship and you make that arrangements, then by all means go for it and God bless you. I hope it works out for you and I hope it works out for both parties. But I've been exposed too damn many times here to guys that are coming here with expectations that they're going to meet these young girls and they're just going to flop down and right in front of them and just give them everything they want. And that's just really not the, the case, guys. So when you're here, if you're that of that nature, please just control yourself. And do, especially when you're out in public with other expats, all right? I, I feel kind of bad having to talk about this, but I, I, I just sometimes I think it's necessary. that some of these guys, I want to punch them right in the face. But, you know, I'm a peace-loving guy, and I never think of doing something like that, you know. If you don't believe me, ask Mr. Parker. He's sitting right there. So, uh, anyway, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. There's a lot of building going on. There's apartments coming up everywhere. Stella has been busy, pretty busy, showing apartments. I just did this video last week of these two Actually, three apartments, the two that I showed at first, are still available. And they're, they're super little apartments. They're not on the ocean. They're not Ocean View. But they're very close by. And they're in a good neighborhood. 
good, safe, secure environment in a little compound. It's all gated in, locked up and everything. I mean, I would, if, I, if I wasn't here, I would be there, you know. But they're still available. You look at my last video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, another thing that I want to kind of just bring to your attention, it seems like prices have gone up a little bit here at the grocery store. I don't have an exact figure to give you, but I'm going to do some solid research on that and, and try to get some information for you. It's not alarming. It's not like it is in the U.S., but I do have to say that um, maybe I should just do another budget video and show you my expenses and what it's cost me to live here. And you'll definitely see a little climb uh, in the price of eating and groceries and eating out here. Another thing, the piece of news that I want to tell you is that a few of the high-end restaurants around here have closed. Uh, everybody has speculation as to why they close. There are so many experts around here that know why they close. I have my opinion about why they close and my girlfriend doesn't necessarily agree with me but you know uh, if you come here and you open up a restaurant and in my opinion if you think you're going to get wealthy off the gringo and off the expats excuse me god almighty are they going to attack me um, I got some sad news for you you're not going to make it and there's a couple of restaurants here recently just within the last 30 days that closed up and I know I didn't eat there because I thought they were way overpriced. So that's about it. Okay, I I'm gonna I've got I do have one more thing I want to ask you about. I don't know how many uh, locals are watching this channel. I I want I'm trying I'm looking for some feedback from some people. I'm looking for feedback from locals, particularly I want to know what you think is what do you expect from expats? What, do you, what is your uh, definition of a good expat? And what's your definition of a bad one? Uh, if any of you are locals and you have an answer, please drop them in the comments, okay? I wanna do a video about this and I wanna interview uh, another person. I'm gonna do a three-way Zoom call uh, one with a guy in Cuenca and one with my buddy in Puerto Viejo. And there goes the ship. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a ship's horn. Should be three. Uh, big car carrier sitting in the port. Usually when you see hear three long uh, blasts, that means they're leaving port. And, but that guy is just Put out one big long one so but anyway uh, that's that's in the plans i'm still going to do a part two video with terry in panama city i'm going to do that real soon so please stand by and watch for that okay so that's really about it i just want to say hello and just you know let everybody know i'm still here and i'm relatively healthy and i'm relatively happy and i will well, I thank you for watching this channel and uh, thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, fight me. And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, ciao, ciao.